Have you ever felt like your mind is too cluttered to find peace? Holding on to past hurts and regrets is like hoarding junk. It's time for a mental declutter to unlock your full potential. Open your heart and mind to receive this divine word today, and please help spread this message by liking this video, sharing it, and subscribing to Inspire Zone. Have you ever found yourself so preoccupied with worries that you couldn't enjoy the present moment? Or perhaps you've been so overwhelmed that sleep eluded you night after night. It's easy to become ensnared by guilt over past mistakes, bitterness about things that didn't work out, and anger towards those who've wronged us. When peace, joy, and passion seem out of reach, it's often because our minds have become cluttered with these negative thoughts. I recently watched a documentary about hoarders, people who refuse to throw anything away. One story that stood out was about a woman living alone in a two-story house. Her home was so filled with old newspapers, empty cereal boxes, and cans from food she had eaten decades ago that there was no way to get upstairs. Only a narrow path led to the kitchen, bathroom, and her bed. The house was in such disarray that the authorities had to intervene. When they arrived, they couldn't even open the front door and had to squeeze through a side entrance. One authority figure picked up a popsicle wrapper and asked if they could discard it to make some space. The woman refused, saying it held sentimental value from her children, who were now in their 40s. To everyone else, it was clear that she was holding on to trash, but she couldn't see it. She was so fixated on preserving the past that she didn't realize it was preventing her from living fully in the present. Many of us are mental hoarders, clinging to past events and negative thoughts. These mental clutterings prevent us from enjoying life. When things don't go as planned, we have a choice. We can hold on to disappointment and let it consume our mind, or we can let it go, trusting that something better is in store. When faced with adversity, such as a bad medical report or a failed contract, we can either succumb to worry and stress or choose to believe that better things are ahead. By clearing out mental clutter, we can rid ourselves of negative thoughts that steal our peace, joy, and energy. Proactively managing our thoughts can lead to a more fulfilling life. Scripture advises us to guard our minds because throughout the day, we encounter various forms of mental clutter, drama, stress, worry, and jealousy. These negative influences may come, but we don't have to let them take root. They limit our lives, just as the woman's hoarded possessions limited hers. Just like the authorities couldn't force the hoarder to throw things away, clearing mental clutter is a choice only we can make. Living cluttered had become her norm, and sometimes we become so accustomed to our mental burdens that we forget what it's like to live without them. Worry, guilt, and anger can become so ingrained that we can't imagine life without them. Negative thoughts like clutter can accumulate over time, making it hard to see beyond them. Thoughts of inadequacy and self-doubt can pile up, obscuring our true potential. It's time to clear out that mental clutter. This is a choice you have to make consciously. Reject thoughts that tell you you're not good enough. Instead, Affirm that you are fearfully and wonderfully made with a unique purpose. God doesn't make mistakes and you shouldn't speak negatively about yourself. The hoarder's house could have been beautiful, but she couldn't enjoy it because of the trash. Similarly, if you don't clear out mental clutter, it will keep you from reaching new heights. Living with a cluttered mind can prevent you from rising higher. Worry, bitterness and stress can hinder new opportunities and cause health problems. Guilt can keep you from pursuing your dreams. Today, challenge yourself to declutter your mind and let go of past hurts and disappointments. Holding on to negative emotions, even if they seem justified, only gives those who hurt you continued power over your life. Recognize that these feelings are cluttering your mind and limiting your vision. By letting go of past hurts, 
you free yourself to embrace new opportunities and the beauty that God has in store. God promises to give us beauty for ashes, but we must first let go of the ashes. You can't hold on to hurts, live offended, and expect to see the new things God has planned. Clearing out the mental clutter allows you to experience His peace, joy, and beauty. Surround yourself with people who inspire you to pursue God's best. I often discuss the importance of starting each day with a clear mind. Let go of the disappointments of yesterday. Release any negative baggage that can weigh you down. Just as a cluttered house or car can make you feel unhealthy, a cluttered mind can stifle your creativity and joy. A place of peace is a place of power. It's where you can hear from God and find rest for your soul. Watching the news, for example, can fill your mind with negativity. While it's important to stay informed, taking in too much negative information can disrupt your peace and joy. Instead, focus on things that are wholesome and positive. Regularly take inventory of your thoughts. Are they filled with worry, stress, or guilt? If so, clear them out and replace them with faith, praise, and gratitude. Your life will follow your thoughts, so make sure they lead you in a positive direction. Clear out the mental clutter and replace it with praise and thanksgiving. Trust that God is ordering your steps and providing for your needs. When faced with uncertainty, choose to believe in a positive outcome. This mindset will help you fulfill your destiny. Everyone faces challenges and criticism. The key is to clear out the mental clutter and stay focused on your purpose. Affirm your strengths and trust in God's plan for your life. This proactive approach will help you navigate difficulties with confidence. The mind is the control center of your life, and the enemy targets it with doubt and fear. When faced with challenges, remind yourself of God's power and faithfulness. King Hezekiah faced a powerful enemy, but he encouraged his people by focusing on God's greater power. When you encounter big problems, remind yourself that God is bigger. He has the final say and can turn any situation around. Keep your mind clear of fear and doubt and stay focused on God's promises. Don't let fear and doubt clutter your mind. The enemy will try to defeat you with negative thoughts, but don't believe those lies. Trust that God is in control and working for your good. By guarding your mind and staying in peace, you allow God to work miracles in your life. An abundant life starts from within. Be your biggest encourager and choose joy daily. Trust that God has you in the palm of his hand and is ordering your steps. Forgive quickly and live unoffendable, knowing that you are forgiven. Fill your mind with positive affirmations and the promises of God. By doing so, you'll not only enjoy life more, but also see your dreams come to fruition. Without mental clutter, you'll experience favor, breakthroughs, and healing beyond what you can imagine. There's a lot of noise in our world, drama, worry, doubt, and jealousy. This clutter may be all around us, but it doesn't have to get inside us. Pay attention to what you allow into your spirit. Just because there's strife around you doesn't mean it has to reside within you. Clear out the mental clutter and fill your mind with God's promises. By doing this, you will not only enjoy life more, but also see your dreams come true. God's favor, breakthroughs, and healing will come into your life in ways you never imagined. My prayer is that these strategies will help you make lasting changes, not just for a week or a month, but for the rest of your life. But before we end, I just want to share this powerful prayer. Lord, I surrender my burdens to you, trusting in your promise that you will give me beauty for ashes. Help me to guard my thoughts and focus on your goodness and grace. Fill my mind with your peace, joy, and wisdom. Allow me to see myself through your eyes as fearfully and wonderfully made, deserving of love and forgiveness. Guide me each day to renew my mind, to choose thoughts that bring life and hope. Let me find rest in your presence, knowing that you are in control and that your plans for me are good. As I clear out the mental clutter, 
May I make room for your blessings and new opportunities. Thank you, Lord, for your unfailing love and for the peace that surpasses all understanding. I trust that you are directing my steps and leading me towards a future filled with your favor and abundance. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. This journey of reflection and renewal, I encourage you to take these words to heart. Remember, clearing out the clutter of negative thoughts and emotions is not just a one-time effort, but a daily choice. May you find the strength and peace to let go of what holds you back and embrace the abundant life that awaits you. Let's step forward with faith, knowing that God's plans for us are filled with hope and promise. May his peace guard your heart and mind, and may his love overflow in every area of your life. Thank you for joining me on this path of discovery and transformation. May you continue to walk in the freedom and joy that comes from trusting in Him. If you found today's message helpful, please like this video, share it with someone who may need encouragement, and subscribe to Inspire Zone for more uplifting content. Together, let's journey towards a life of peace, purpose, and victory. Thank you for joining me. God bless you abundantly.